Hello all my makeup freaks and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi I'm Stephanie. So today's video is going to be a tag and I haven't done a tag in a very long time but I actually have a song that goes along with it so we're going to go ahead and sing it now. Tuesday, Tuesday, Tag Tuesday, woo! So I used to do a tag every single Tuesday. I haven't been doing that in a while just because I did a lot of tags guys and it gets really really hard to find tags every week and I was like making some up which I really enjoy um, but I was like uh, I'm just kind of like burnt out a little bit and I decided I wanted to do like a fall or Halloween type tag and I found this one I have not done this one at least I don't think I've done this one this is the spooky Halloween tag um, number one favorite horror or Halloween theme song and I would have to say the Adams Family theme song I love that the ooky and the kooky they're all together spooky da -da, da -da, da -da. the Adams Family you know that love that and I was probably like completely off and that may have not been the words correctly um, but let me also tell you that I have like fallen in love with Sharon Needles if you don't know who Sharon Needles is she is RuPaul's Drag Race season 4 winner and she's kind of, you know, well, she's got like different sides, but like one side of her is like this like spooky kind of um, character kind of thing. And um, she has a song out that this club is a haunted house. I love that. I also love the song Dracula. If you haven't seen those, you can like check them out on YouTube. I love her and I love those songs because they're kind of like Halloween-ish to me. Number two, name something you wouldn't want to run into in a dark forest or in an abandoned building. Okay, I have always said that people actually scare me more than like, let's say, a make-believe a monster type thing. So I'm sure a lot of people are going to say, oh, I don't want to run into a werewolf. I don't want to run into like a ghost. I don't want to run into like a vampire or whatever. I don't want to run into like a really crazy person. No psycho killers. No people that want to eat me. No, 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 no. Don't want to run into that. Now, I like strange people. I love people that are unique. I love people that are weird. Get you, you know, like freaks. Yes, love you. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Goth people. I'm all down for that, right? But no psychos. They want to eat people and kill people. I don't want to run into them anywhere. Number three. Have you ever played with a Ouija board? Yes, I have, and it was kind of a spooky experience. I was in college, and me and two of my friends were in our dorm room, and we were just like playing. We had people, we had like the door open, so people were like walking by, seeing what we were doing. And this one girl who like, we didn't really know that well, came in and was like, oh, I don't believe in those. What is my boyfriend's name? And the Ouija board spelled out A-B-E-L. Now, I was like, oh, that's not a name. Uh, and she was like, oh my God, that's my boyfriend's name. His name is Abel. I was like, really? <laughs> because aside from the Bible, I've never heard of anyone being named Abel, but technically it was her boyfriend's name. And none of us like knew her boyfriend or knew that she had a boyfriend or knew what her boyfriend's name was. And it also went on to say that I was going to like die when I was 25 and all of this kind of stuff, which got kind of scary. But I didn't die when I was 25. Like, I think I'm alive, right? Yeah. I don't think I'm a ghost or am I? Number four, favorite horror monster or villain. Okay, so these are two different things to me. My favorite horror monster would be a vampire. I love like the whole like living forever thing looking beautiful forever. I just think they're very like sexy and like they have like really pale skin kind of gothy which you know I love. Um, my favorite villain would have to be Freddy Krueger and it's just because he has so much personality. He's so funny like he's gonna kill you but he's gonna make you laugh first which I love that. Number five, the creepiest thing that's ever happened to you while you were alone. I have had a lot of creepy things happen to me, honestly, and I'm thinking about doing like a video closer to Halloween, like a story time for like a ghost story that I've had. Um, but that one is a little scarier because it didn't happen just to me. It happened to like me and like a group of people that I was with. So this one is actually going to be what happened to me by myself, which is pretty scary too. We had just moved into a new house and I was like 12. My mom and my grandmother had ran to the grocery store to grab us some lunch. And I was like unpacking in my room, like hanging up posters. I heard the front door open. So I thought it was my mom and my grandmother. And I heard footsteps like walking through the living room, walking in the hallway. 
my door opens, nobody is there. My door shuts, nobody is there. There's a chair like beside my door that slides all the way over and stops right beside me. So I'm kind of like just frozen. Like I'm just looking at the chair, nothing else is moving. I'm just kind of like, all of a sudden I hear the front door open again and I hear my mother and my grandmother's voices. Whatever was in the chair, like it threw the chair, like the chair just like slid and hit the wall. It like slid over so fast. My door opened, my door slammed shut and I heard like footsteps running down the hall the opposite direction that my mom and my grandmother were in. I like tore out of my house, or I tore out of my room, ran to my mom, my grandmother. Of course they kind of like brushed it off, oh it's your imagination, blah blah blah. But I will just tell you that that house was freaking haunted and that was like just the first thing that happened in that house. Number six, if you were dared to spend the night in a haunted house, would you do it? I would do it because I actually kind of like haunted houses and I think it would be fun. Number seven, are you superstitious? Um, I would say no. There, mm, I would say no. I, I really don't believe in superstition. I know like there's some members of my family that are kind of superstitious and so I kind of go along with them. But like th number 13 is my favorite number. I love black cats, you know, that kind of stuff. The only really thing that my family does that could be considered superstitious is that we believe you cannot leave the tree up past Christmas. No, we you cannot leave your Christmas tree up past New Year's or it's bad luck. So we always take it down like the day before New Year's. Um, and that's really the only thing that we do. But, uh, you know, like I don't think we really like, oh no, like the world is going to end or something if we leave the tree up. We just kind of like, it's like a habit, I guess. Number eight, do you ever see figures in your peripheral vision? Yes, I do. Number nine, which urban legend scares you the most? I'd have to say like the one where someone is hiding under your car, you're going shopping and you come back out and like they slice your ankle tendon so you can't walk so you like fall down and then they like kidnap you or kill you or whatever. Cause like I said, people that actually like kill other people like scare me worse than anything. Number 10, do you prefer gore or thrillers? It depends on the mood I'm in. I like both of them. I love horror movies. Uh, if you don't know, if you, I have a horror movie channel. You can check it out down below with my daughter. Number 11, do you believe in multiple dimensions or worlds? Um, no, <laughs> not really. Like, I think it's an interesting concept. Like, I think like the whole Mandela effect, which I actually like, okay, people, there's like some weird things. Like I have always known Kit Kats to have a dash in it. There's just, weird stuff but who knows maybe maybe it is different dimensions number 12 ever made a potion of any sort no number 13 do you get scared easily no not really number 14 have you ever played bloody mary yes and nothing happened do you believe in demons slash the devil oh that is a that is a difficult difficult question um i will have to say that there's a part of me that does and then there's a part of me that's like, no. So I can't really answer that question because like those two parts kind of like, blah, 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 you know, war with each other sometimes. Number 16, you're home alone, but hear footsteps in your house. What do you do? Um, I go and check it out because A, number one, if it's somebody that's going to kill me, you got to get them first, right? Number two, if it's a ghost, then it's like, okay, whatever, it's a ghost. But you don't want to like just have random footsteps walking around and not know who they are. Number 17, if you got trapped in one scary movie, which would you choose? Oh, uh, that's a good question. Um, I would tell you what I would not choose would be a human centipede. I would never want to be so to someone's butt. No, no, no way. I don't know which movie I would want to be in. I would want to be in like subspecies because I really like Stefan, but I really don't like his brother. So I don't know. Like I would want to be in like a vampire movie, but one that ended nice. Oh, Queen of the Damned. And I could be a Kasha, but I would be nice and not insane. So I wouldn't like kill a whole bunch of vampires. So I wouldn't get killed. There you go. Number 18. If you could only wear one Halloween costume for the rest of your life, what would you be? I would probably be... Elvira. I think she's gorgeous. I would love that. You, you know, 
I would rock that so much. Number 19, would you ever go to a graveyard at night? Yes. Number 20, in a zombie apocalypse, what is your weapon of choice? Machine guns. <laughs> Number 21, would you rather go to a Halloween party or trick-or-treating? I'd rather go to a Halloween party now. Like, trick-or-treating was awesome when I was a little kid, and I love taking my kids trick-or-treating, but like me having fun, I'd rather go to a party. Number 22, you're in a horror movie. Are you the final girl? The first to die, the comic relief, the skeptic, the smart one, or the killer? Um, hmm. I think I would either be the comic relief or I'd be the killer. Uh, just because I think it would be funny. Like, I'd be the one that nobody would think would be the killer. And I'd be like, Number 23, do you, what, do, you, do you have to watch something happy after watching a horror movie so you can go to sleep? No, I actually watch horror movies to get sleepy and go to sleep watching horror movies. Number 24, while watching scary movies, are you the person who yells at the characters, the person with their eyes covered the whole time, or the person who falls asleep? I am the one who's yelling at the stupid people that run upstairs when they need to run out the front door. The people that trip over air. Air people do not trip. Do not look behind you. Look in front of you. You don't need to see that they're like two inches away from you. Move your stinking hair and don't get caught. Number 26. Favorite scary book is probably The Stand by Stephen King. I love anything kind of like biological, virusy things because that can actually happen too and that scares the crap out of me. But um, like The Stand also like goes into like other things uh, too. But that's like what it kind of started off with as like a virus type thing like wiping out a big portion of the population really love those kind of books um and i love anything by stephen king honestly he's my favorite author number 27 how old were you when you saw your first horror movie i believe i was around four my my mom kind of like didn't really care what i watched uh i think it was like a like a it was like a kitty kind of horror movie um, but I've always really been into horror movies. At four, I also used to tell people that I wanted to be a vampire when I grew up. Number 28. What was your first Halloween costume? My first one that I can remember was a female vampire. And it was one of those, like, plastic suits. And you had the plastic uh, mask. And it, she was green for some reason. But she had, like silver and black hair. I just thought she was gorgeous. She kind of looked like the color, like a witch, you would think, like a, the, the green witch, but she was actually a vampire. She had like teeth. So that was my first Halloween costume that I remember. Number 29, what are you going to be for Halloween this year? I'm going to be Little Pound Cake. Um, if you don't know what that is, look up Alaska 5000 and you will see like it's one of his like little character things. Number 30, if you could have a spooky Halloween pet, black cat, owl, bat, rat, wolf, which would you pick? Black cat, hands down, like I would never have like a pet rat. Like wolves are cool. I, bats, ugh, they're cute. Like I like bats. I have bat tattoos, but I don't want them in my hair. Um, 31, trick or treat. Treat always because I love candy. So I hope you enjoyed this tag. Be sure to comment down below and let me know if you are going to do this tag. I'll go check it out. I hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already and check out my horror movie channel with my daughter and I'll talk to you guys later. Love you. Bye.